Hi, uh, this is going to be a follow-up uh, video to the one I did before about uh, uh, text-to-speech in Ubuntu. And uh, what I did with that one, um, I used Festival and it, I did not use a front-end. Now a couple of people mentioned a, um, um, uh, an application to do text-to-speech, which I don't think it uses Festival. I want to thank uh, Got Bleetu and uh, Sneaky Linux for mentioning this, and I'm going to be doing a video about uh, this uh, this program. Also, I want to say that I'm back to um, Ubuntu um, 9.04. Uh, I've tried uh, 9.10, and it, it it just had too many problems. In my opinion, I think it's not ready for release. Anyways, uh, the program that I'm going to show you today is uh, G-Speak, that is uh, GE speaker. Um, and if you want to get it, just go to this website and I will um, include the, the link uh, with the information for this video. So you just go there and go to download and uh, you just... Uh, download the dev file okay after you do that uh, you go to your applications and sound and video and go to G speaker welcome to G speaker now I think G speaker is much better than, uh, than the other applications that I've tried because it gives you uh, many more options here you can uh, control the the pitch the volume the speed and uh, the delay uh, basically the delay is just um, uh, how long uh, how long it takes uh, between words uh, when the program is speaking it now uh, if you want it to speak something you just uh, copy it here let me go get some text here from uh, website and you just paste it here and you play it since version 0.6 it supports umbrella voices it will require umbrella package and one or more umbrella voices now uh, another good thing about this program is um, you can change the language. So if you have uh, uh, some Spanish text or or uh, German text or whatever, you just pick the language and um, you have a voice for that. Now you do get a bunch of options here if um, if you're using English, you are going to get a bunch of uh, different um, English options. So um, like if I choose this English right here you'll hear a different voice. Since version 0.6, it supports umbrella voices, it will rec And you don't just uh, get the, those options, you always uh, you also get um, the variant here. And I also get male or female, so you can switch it to female. Since version 0.6, it supports um And um, you get the variants here, you can uh, different types of voices for the female. Since version 0.6, it supports umbrella voices, it will you can mess with these settings and uh, try to make the, you know, the, the voice sound uh, good enough for you. You, uh, you can play with these and uh, even make it uh, sound a little creepy. Like if I, uh, if I raise the pitch here. Since version 0.6, it supports Ambrolia voices. It will yeah, require Ambrolia package and one or more M Okay, um, another thing about this uh, application is uh, you can get more voices if you want to. And uh, to do that, you just go to Edit and Preferences, and you'll find uh, the voices that you add here. Now, um, to add these voices, you have to go to the same website where you uh, get the depth, the depth file. 
and uh, I will include this second link too. And uh, you go here and uh, you have all the instructions on how to get um, some better voices. And you just uh, copy and paste these uh, commands to your uh, terminal. And then you choose uh, any one of these voices or a bunch of them. And these uh, sound much better than the, than the default ones. Okay, I think that's it for now. And, uh, I'll see you soon in another video. Thanks for watching.